Hello everyone, this is Jyoti Hampal and here I come with my podcast which is on engaging of leadership practices in early childhood education through activism, advocacy and inclusiveness. So to begin with, first of all, I would like to explain a little bit about leadership. Leadership is the process of achieving goal by maximizing others' effort and social influence. Leadership cannot be done or built by just having authority or power, but it can be stemmed from social influence. <clears throat> the leadership which I am going to demonstrate is democratic leadership which promotes children's independence and rights by providing the influencing, motivating and encouraging environment in the classrooms for everyone. It is participative practice where everyone have opportunity to be brainstormed and joined to participate in decision making with innovative ideas and giving feedback while working in cooperation, which will encourage everyone to be committed towards their work. I will promote democratic leadership as a framework for inclusive practice as it provides the opportunity of acknowledging diversity and uniqueness of every children and individual, creating an environment to organize and design the environment where all children and workers will be supported by respecting with the individual's background and abilities and will make ensure that children will be having opportunity to involve and encourage fully in their early learning's development. Such as we are living in a diverse country which is Australia and people in this country are from different culture carrying different languages and for this a setting will be done through activities and spaces providing the way which will help in learning and develop the children's main language along with their mother language. Also I will make sure that every child different abilities will be recognized and respected by providing them opportunity in their learnings by organizing and supporting children by educators for set up the area where they need to be supported and developed for example organizing a special educator for the children with behavioral issues and developmental delays in the democratic leadership activism and advocacy are the key concept practices focusing in intentional leadership to influence outcomes as the best interests of children educators and families a professional and ethical responsibilities need to be adopted in order to encourage and promote the rise of children and social justice it can be said we as an educators and administrators are working with the early years and directing the workers in order to encourage development within children early learning we follow the learning frameworks national standards and code of ethics in our practices and settings to promote children's daily basis rights whereas Apart from just following these principles and standards, this is our responsibility to analyze the issues and policies for the children being provided and allowing opportunity to get the best possible feedback and solutions to influence policies for children's rights as a safeguard. Developing, implementing and updating effectively the policies and procedures powerfully demonstrates about what is happening in the service and what they believe. Activism and advocacy is a leadership practice which is mostly guiding to take actions against social issues. These actions can be taken in simple form like consultation with parents regarding the issue or having conversation within the community. According to me, in a leadership role, I would like to focus on maintaining positive environment in workplace and build up a good workplace relationships. I will keep in mind to frame democratic leadership and QF quality and NQS areas by working and supporting with my team members instead of having attitude to just control and give order to them. Overall, I want to see myself in the role of leader following the practice of bees, hive and bees. As bees in the hive work in cooperation where each and every individual efforts are seen to be significant in a team performing various tasks, I will make sure that accomplished environment will be maintained in order to work in unity, cooperation and lead to achieve goals with great results. A good leader is who appreciates the people with their abilities 
and ideas coming from the different ages and different backgrounds. I would like to practice this kind of leadership which will be respected for and with others. So that was all about my understandings. Thank you.